All right, guys, so we are doing the DCAT. Um, so we had an exhaust leak on this driver's side. We're on the driver's side of this X5. And the converter, I noticed when we had the engine out, had some rattlies going on. Well, <clears throat> when it came around in the back yesterday when it was running, there was hardly any exhaust coming out of the driver's side. And the exhaust side is real smooth, and you can hear it was like sputtering out the driver's side. So I watched some videos. I think we could just do a decat, get away with it, leave everything else in place, leave the resonator, leave the pipes. And it shouldn't be that much louder than stock because we don't want it crazy loud. We just, you know, whatever. Um, a new set of these converters were like 450 bucks. We're not going that direction. This thing isn't worth that. Um, so what we did, Let's go back to my cousin's house. He had to help me with it or I would have filmed it. We took a cordless drill. Let me recap this a little bit. We cut this pipe. We have the, the big ass band clamp. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's laying under the car. That clamps the back. We cut it when we removed the engine just in case we had to take it back apart so we could do it easily. So we just removed the piece. We took his cordless drill and ran like a piece of heavy gauge wire down in here because I didn't want to cut this pipe again. And we bent a little hook on the end and running that drill in and out, it basically just beat up the inside of the converter and we kept dumping it out. And about 30 minutes later, we had it every little piece out, everything completely hollowed on it. Now, this is for off-road off use only, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in the rear O2 sensor hole before we put the oxygen sensor back in. And we might have to do, what we are going to do is drill this hole just a little bit bigger. Because on these BMWs it seems like if you just put this in there the hole is a little too small. This is the spark plug non-fowler. I'll put a link in the description. Um, the hole needs to be a little bit bigger for the O2 sensor to read right, otherwise it'll read too low. If you don't put this non-fowler on the pipe, what's going to happen is it's going to flow or throw a flow rate too high for catalytic converter because the converter is no longer there, right? Essentially we're just straight pipes at this point except for the muffler. Um, so we're going to go and fit this up before we put it back up in there. We're going to fit that up, bolt it all in, and I'm curious to see at this point if our exhaust leak is gone. My theory behind this is, is that it was causing back pressure because the pieces are broken and turned sideways and it's making it leak either at the manifold or at the collector. Now, we're gonna do this today and then later on today or tomorrow, we're gonna pull the other side down. But the other side is cut right here. So we can leave the collector bolted up and we can just run our piece of pipe in smash it in, start it up, and it'll blow the guts out. We shouldn't have to take the downpipe actually off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this fitted up here. We'll be back here in a minute. Okay, so we have our spark plug non-fowler set up here. <clears throat> we have the hole drill all the way through with a 2960 force. That lets it thread in. You could go a little bit bigger if you don't have that exact bit, uh, but don't go too big. And you can see that opens out the end until it go all the way through. And a little gnarled up from our vice grips holding it when we we're drilling it. Uh, bench vice will work better. I don't have that. I have one. It's not set up yet. Um, so yeah, basically what we're going to do this plug. I cannot get it unplugged to unplug the sensor. So we're going to back wind it. So when we thread it on there, it ends up about right. Um, we're going to put that in now. We're going to put our front O2 sensor in. So we're going to set it up in there, put our two collector bolts in, put our band clamp on the back, and then we should be ready to start after that. And we're not going to hog this down real tight. You've seen it snug. The oxygen sensor should never be any more than snug. A little bit of anti-seize will probably help too. Uh, I don't know if I have any here accessible or not to look around and see. But uh, especially with this part, it's going to be a trial run to see if that's going to fix it or not. All right, guys, so we're up and running here. Uh, a few things. The driver's side is done. I did notice that those band clamps that we use leak terribly. It's like they're a little bit too big. So 
tomorrow I had to run and get some some more non fowlers tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and do the decat on the passenger side it's not bad but you can't just leave one like that right um, it's not very loud at all of course we'll do a little sound review once we get both sides finished uh, that shouldn't be that hard to do on this side I pulled yesterday's video down you guys probably noticed that because there's a mistake in it on the timing video I spent I guess it was probably casually doing it probably 10 hours retiming this thing taking apart is nothing but cleaning all the gasket stuff to put it all back together is a real pain in the butt if you noticed in the last video if you watched it I had we had the Vanos jigs from uh, German Oil Solutions the passenger side we did right you know even though I looked at the procedure a hundred times totally my bad the driver's side one which is bank two it could go two different ways it could be clocked to the right or to the left and we had it clocked to the left and it's supposed to be clocked to the right so that Vanos uh, wheel was off and that's why it's not reading the sensor I guess it's so far off that it can't see the sensor and it's weird that it, it runs great uh, but probably not as great as it will once you fix that so I just I hate to even think of the possibility I have to pull that back apart again but we do and that freaking sucks that sucks if you haven't done this job you have no idea how bad that sucks um, so we got here one more time we don't have to it runs fine the way it is but I I want to get the check engine light off so bad it drives me crazy just right now it drives me crazy I want to start taking it apart tonight but I want to try to wait till we get the other blocks from German Oil Solutions they're on back order for the cams I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait that long or not we might just go ahead and jump into it and get it done especially after we get the other decat done you know I just kind of want to see how this thing runs on the highway and start working out all the vanity covers and the fan shroud and get all the tidbits put back on it get it back on the road because if I get this one out of here the rest of them isn't going to take that much this guy is going on Craigslist this 98 Civic the 05 Civic it needs an engine probably going on Craigslist for like 800 bucks 188,000 miles if you guys are interested in that thing hit me up clear title this guy here is going to end up going for parts I don't know it's just the way it worked out so I need to take those style fives off of it they're pretty good shape they're a little clear coats flaking off a little bit on the lip but it's not that bad I got all the center caps for them too um, the only other one I got really to work on is this blue car been sitting here for a while and it started doing some kind of weird compression thing uh, after it sets it doesn't have any compression so I don't know what that's all about and that POS is getting out of here I think I'm gonna sell the little trailer because the lawnmower now is too big for it I'm keeping that then our green x5 um, I had to reorder that door handle I did get a refund from that door handle you saw in the last video came in broken and I bought a brand new inner frame for it it's like 20 bucks so other than that this e36 is going to scrap e39 is going to scrap 540 is going to scrap all this shit here we're gonna throw it all in there and get it all out of there so you get that done we gotta figure out what in the hell to do with all these tires we're getting a tire horde that Honda Civic truck on, trunk on top of that needs to go the storage shed is going the floor is questionable in it the whole thing's questionable if you look at it wrong it'll probably fall down but I need to get something else in the meantime um, to replace it for all my stuff so you know that's kind of where everything's at right now this E53 leaky valve cover needs to be driven some more and verify that it stopped haven't nobody's driven it 
Uh, the 50 kid, 50s kid emailed me and said he has the M56 valve cover for it if it's not fixed. So I need to figure that out. I might go drive it tonight, put some miles on it, verify it's still not leaking. And if it is still leaking, then buy that from him, obviously. So that's pretty much all for today's video, guys. Just short video. Nothing new, really. Besides a bunch of bugs. Nothing new really to videos on. Just trying to get the same stuff finished up. Trying to basically master this M62 TU. Uh, trying to make it so there's no more check engine light on period. It's been running fine for a while. But I have to get all the bugs worked out of it. I have to master that. There's so many of these out there with that problem. You know, that opened up doors to me to buy these things dirt cheap. A lot of you guys have these need to be worked on. Nobody else will do that kind of job. And that's it kind of like groundhog day no big deal we'll get her all worked out thanks for watching guys see you later